What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about Jalen Twyman. Um, three tech, I'd say, out of uh, Pittsburgh. Um, so, he it says he's 6'2 and 290 pounds. He is a little bit undersized, but I think it's... I think the size is really fine if he's playing three tech. Uh, at Pittsburgh, they do have him play one and three. I don't want him playing one tech in the NFL at all. Um, he does seem to have pretty quick hands. I wouldn't necessarily say that he's he himself is like a fast runner, but he does have quick explosive hands. Um, and I do think he'll get a little bit bigger and stronger in the league. I think that'll be a thing. Uh, he did opt out this year, that so that, that's something. Um, I'll get to that in a minute. He does have a solid cloth pull and swim move that I, I've noticed with him. That kind of seems to be his go-to thing. Um, at least he seems to have a go-to. It is the cloth pull, and he, he likes the swim move as well. Um... And he can move a little bit. I wouldn't necessarily say like he's super crazy athletic, but he can move. Um, his hands are okay, but they're inconsistent. Uh, he doesn't really have. He he doesn't really defeat the hands too much. He gets his hands inside and tries to run down the middle of you, but he doesn't. He's not very good at you know actually defeating the hands. Um, if he actually gets blocked, he's kind of stuck. He's pretty okay against the run, though. Um, like I said, he does get his hands inside, and he's pretty quick. So a lot of times he can disengage with people and go make a tackle on, in the run game. Um, he's got pretty good ball get off for where he's going to play, and that's three tech. Um, but a lot of times he tries to do a little bit too much and tries to hop, skip, and jump around the guard, and he kind of ends up working himself out of the play. I've noticed that quite a few times that he, that he does that. Um, and he gets down blocked a lot, and that just comes down to him not being very strong. Um, I've seen a lot of people making comparisons to Aaron Donald, and I don't know what the fuck y'all are seeing besides the fact that he's an undersized defensive tackle from Pittsburgh. Uh, that's the only thing in common from them. Because other than that, Aaron Donald was stronger coming out. He was faster. He had better technique. Um, stop that comparison. Uh, I think Jalen Twyman can be okay. He definitely needs to get stronger for sure. Uh, and I think he needs to work on his technique as well. But I think he does have some raw skills that are intriguing. I think the burst and the violence from the ball get off, I think that's intriguing. I think he'll test well at the combine. Um... At least as far as uh, his athleticism goes. I Like I said, I do think he needs to get a little bigger and definitely needs to get stronger. Because uh, right now these guards are kind of bullying him a little bit. So I'd like, I'd like to see him work on that. I think that's the biggest thing. Um, but I do think he could potentially develop into a pretty solid 3-tech. I just don't know if he's going to be that great year one. Um, if you've got a three tech on contract where maybe you don't want to resign him in a couple years, or maybe they're aging, you're thinking they won't be around long, whatever. I think that would be a pretty good situation for him. Let him sit and develop, maybe rotate in a little bit. Um, and yeah, just continue to develop those skills to continue to get stronger, things like that. So Yeah. Anyway, um, I think that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, I appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.